Cinephilia is about collecting and preserving, but who do cinephiles share their passion with? I really liked Don's Party when I first watched it. In a cringeworthy confession, I actually first watched it on the Criterion channel. I'm sure my letterbox can specify the exact date. I collect items. I collect film memorabilia. It's important to me. It shapes the way I think and sometimes even influences the way I feel. I'm not sure what compels me to collect though. I don't know if I will ever know. Why do National Archives exist? Is it to propagate a narrative which makes the nation feel good about itself? According to Deleuze, Goddard likes to recall that when the future directors of the new wave were writing, they were not writing about cinema. They were not making a theory out of it. It was already their way of making films. Elena Gorfinkel writes that lists aggregate the already known and consolidate power. Who is it that shapes and consolidates what is deemed worthy or important? Furthermore, what gets preserved and what gets left behind? What does all this archiving lead to? The lists and the reviews and the ranking? Charlie Shackleton is the director of The Afterlight, a single print which degrades every time the film is projected around the world. He says, You know, for a film to have survived this long, for the most part, someone has had to decide at some point that they think it's either culturally or commercially valuable enough to, to make that effort and spend that money to preserve it. Part of the joy of it of, of working with this sort of material for me is that you do just end up with you know Humphrey Bogart coexisting with a bit part actor who maybe only appeared in two films but they happened to be films that have been preserved and made available and so this person is living on in a sense just as Humphrey Bogart is I love the improbability of that that you know even background actors who are not you know particularly thought of as sort of joining the cinematic canon or anything are there and they're you know these traces of the performances that they gave are surviving alongside Humphrey Bogart and everyone else when I saw the Brazilian Cinematheque go up in flames I thought about the precarious nature of film and how easily it can be destroyed cinephiles tend to be torn between Hollywood and their own national film culture but I think there is a commitment to care for other film cultures. My original copy of L.V. Toms's Polemics for a New Cinema is deemed valuable and meaningful to me, the same way my original poster of Pulp Fiction is, but there's always more work to be done. Francois Truffaut ended his first film, The 400 Blows, with a sentimental tracking shot. This seems fitting. C'est tout cinéma. Two, one, go!